Look who woke up. You know, maybe I was a little too rough on you. Because however, you've been unconscious for some longer time. And I can tell you one thing. It's no fun at all killing someone who doesn't notice. That's why I'm going to extend you my hospitality. But well, perhaps not for a very long time, I guess. I hope you don't mind if I keep you company until we can get to the interesting part of the day. Not that I care, but how it comes that you stray around in the middle of the night. You don't want to tell me? Well, it's not like a place of big road anyway. But I really wonder. Why you stay so silent? Usually I can listen to the same crap over and over again. No, I don't want to die. Why are you doing such terrible things? <sighs> as if it is normal to have a right to live. And as if what I'm doing is so much more terrible than what they are doing. You know, nowadays, every one of us has someone on their conscience. Just that some admit it and others don't. And then we are surprised that this world is slowly going to the dogs. This hypocrisy pisses me off. Say, do you have a fever? Because you don't look quite well. <sighs> Just do me a favor and don't want it anywhere here, okay? How old are you actually? Hmm. Still so young, huh? Too bad. But you won't miss anything. At least nothing that's worth it. Still, I kinda like you. So there is something you can wish for before our little conversation comes to an end. Singing something. <laughs> you actually managed to embarrass me. I like the idea anyway. All right. So, relax. Sleep. All right. Let's let you go to sleep a little longer time. <laughs>